We start with cricket. Now, the Cayman Islands continues to grow as a destination for sports tourism. Take the professional track meets, the NCAA college basketball, and so many other events. However, one professional sports organization visited Cayman last week to survey the landscape, and they say the time is now for professional sports to live in Cayman full-time. Yeah, we wanted to come have a look at what's on offer here, both from a playing and a facilities perspective. And maybe with the opportunity to play some games there. Oh, you kidding me? Caribbean Premier League Chief Operating Officer Pete Russell is hoping to bring the region's top pro cricket league to Cayman. But are the right facilities in place? Russell says West Bay's Jimmy Powell Oval is about halfway there. So there's a lot of space in and around the, the, the ground. The ground is the right dimension. Yes, there's a bit of a, agronomy work that's needed, but nothing that won't, uh, won't trouble us. But this isn't just passing interest, rather a three-game deal with the possibility of Cayman getting a CPL team, the first professional sports franchise for the country. We could be flexible, but I think that would be the minimum that we'd look at is three. Um, and, you know, there's, there's uh, opportunities going forward. I mean, we, we don't want to just look at this as a one, two-year uh, opportunity, but maybe host a team here at some point because it's perfectly placed in terms of the U.S. and then getting down to the Caribbean. And after six seasons of play, Russell says the league has helped put smaller nations on the map. We've got St. Kitts who have their team, and if you look at what it's done for them, you know, they're better known now for having a cricket team in CPL than, than probably anything else. So uh, the impact I think it can have is, is tremendous. But why came in and why now? Russell says it's a perfect fit. This is far more progressive than pretty much anywhere we play. So you've got the hotels, you've got the infrastructure, the people. Um, so actually, the onus would be on us to make sure we put on a good event, which uh, we know we do. But could the CPL's interest in Cayman be related to the potential sale and movement of the powerhouse Jamaica Talawas? Russell says that's not the case. The government haven't necessarily been as supportive as they might in Jamaica, so yeah, the owner quite rightly is looking at his options. It's like any other franchise team, and you look at it with U.S. Uh, sports teams all the time, they move, so he's looking at it. Uh, he might move, he might not, but um, you know, Jamaica is an important venue for CPL, as I'm sure you're aware. Whatever happens, Russell says the discussions are in the infancy stage. But if the two sides do move forward, he's making his case for a long-term partnership. Tourism is all about creating a, an opportunity, a product that has lasting benefits over time. So you know, what we're not about is just flying in, you know, doing something for four or five days and flying out. because. That has, a, in my view, minimal uh, long-term impact. Now, the Caribbean Premier League season runs from this August 21st to September 22nd. The opening round of matches will take place in Trinidad, Tobago, and Guyana before returning to the same two countries for the playoffs and finals.